Well, that's uh, very interesting. It opens up a whole sort of uh, history of fossils. So the word fossil itself literally means uh, a hole, fos, and ill refers to what's in it. So for a long time, the word fossil referred to anything that you dug up. So that could be archaeological remains, so human remains and pottery and coins and stuff. It could be fossils, it could be rocks. And then uh, when the sort of the scientific enlightenment came along, they began to categorise things okay so that's when they you know human remains human artifacts that went into archaeology uh, rocks and stuff that you dug up that went into geology and then fossils became defined by living things which uh, lived in the past that died and became preserved and uh, and then became either turn, turned into rock is usually or, or covered in rock or permineralized is the, the, the general way of how you get a fossil. Uh, so it's basically anything that lived in the past that has been preserved in rock is ca classed as a fossil. And this also includes uh, evidence of things that used to live. So like trace fossils, so trackways and fossil uh, dung and, uh, you know, the, the shells and stuff of fossils as well. That, they're all classed in, in fossils as well.